Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a special morning chooch with Missy Jen. One day post-operative for me, and overall, feeling pretty good. I uh, passed a rather painful night last night, but uh, got up this morning, took the Tylenol, feeling a little better. Yes, yeah, you can see that uh, the face is looking uh, like night and day. I've kind of moved from... Chinese cabbage patch kid to maybe Romanian cabbage <laughs> Looks much, cabbage much patch better. kid today. So we wanted to talk about one of the uh, side benefits of having that uh, Brazilian butt lift done that I had in uh, March was there was an excess of fat collected. And uh, I had planned to use that fat to come back later to do some filling in the face because I'm no young spring chicken. I mean, I always thought of myself as, as a very cute kind of girl, but never, what would you say, never the, gla the glamour girl type. So yesterday when we went in, the first thing the uh, doctor did the, uh, the bikini tuck, which uh, which was okay. Outstanding job. Yeah. I seen the pictures. He showed me the pictures from uh, during the surgery and when he had it all done, and it was very impressive. So, so after after a couple of days, we'll be able to show that we'll have the uh, you'll be able to see uh, one incision line and all that. But we'll do that in a tasteful way that can be presented but then part two yesterday was rosie let's let's do some fat fill on your face some feminization and there were various points done on it above the eyebrow a lot in the side here so i think you already noticed jen it's a much more heart-shaped uh well i'll let you talk yeah you've got you know. actually in general the entire face if you if you look at just straight at the camera, the entire face here has now a heart shape, which makes it already feminized, because women have a heart shaped face, versus men have more like a, a square face. And then uh, the eyebrows have been raised, which is a fem feminine feature. And by filling this all in underneath the eyes, that took away all like the, the wrinkles, the crow feet, uh, and everything, which makes the rosy girl 25 years younger at least. <clears throat> and uh, then put into the apples of the. The apples. So I've noticed when you look at the side profile, if you want to like kind of turn your head sideways. A little bit less, a little bit less. Now you can see here on the uh, side cheek here that it, it's a lot more pronounced like here and really makes, uh, gives her a really nice, really feminine touch. And so now she's gone from being a semi feminine look into a glamour girl looking. Bye bye, really, bye bye tomboy, eh? <laughs> really beautiful. beautiful <laughs> I think he really did that. Uh, I really like think he amazing. did a uh, yeah. nice job. Of course, there's there's not a lot of market swelling, but the things, the mm -hmm. the fat that was placed in. Of course, it's my own fat. It, it was mixed steady. with blood that was drawn yesterday morning to give it. Uh, uh, a chance to root itself in that area and it will smooth out and with with a little bit in addition of some stem cell material it roots itself and it's like original kind of position so instead of having the super heavy lines down here you have very very light ones now and because this has been filled up in here and the amazing thing to me is around the eyes where you get a lot of uh, wrinkles and it's just it's just it's utterly smooth it's utterly been removed so, so from now on she is the glamorous <laughs> kitten rosie 
<laughs> I'm just the rosy girl. I'll always just be the rosy girl, but we thought we would share that with you. Glamorous kitten rosy. Yeah, because you can spend, uh, you can, I've had fillers before, and they don't last long. You know, if you have like a, a Juvederm or a Restylane or something like that, it's not the same as having your own fat right, pudding. Right, because, because that stays. Yeah, you, this stays, so you never have to go back. And, you know, if you want to get some more fat pulled out of your butt and put into your face later, by all accounts, it's probably a better and more appropriate procedure than putting foreign material in there. But we'll follow this through the next week or two, and tomorrow mm -hmm. we'll talk more about the uh, bikini tuck and the way that that went. But I can't leave, Jen, without saying the way we have been swamped with wishes and love from people uh, asking how I'm doing, to, uh, you know, encouraging Missy Jen, a good girl Jen, and uh, uh, thank you for taking care of Rosie and all that stuff. And of course, Jen was with me all day uh, yesterday and will be with me <clears throat> this week. So I'm very happy uh, to have, I'm not used to seeing my eyebrows so high, so my eyes really <laughs> stick out. Now. Yeah, and that was the goal. You <laughs> You have beautiful eyes, because you do have very beautiful eyes. And the doctor always emphasizes that, too. I know. Don't stop really, now. No, anyway, guys, really we want to <laughs> we wanna thank on, you. So. We want to thank each and every one of you on the channel. This was, in fact, the very last. This was my retirement present that I had worked on and planned for for the last couple of years that I could have the uh, the butt surgery, the uh, breast surgery, and the bikini tuck, and, and if anything was left over, to have a little bit of feminization surgery with the fat. And I think I may end up being happy with all three, I'll tell you, with great results and choosing the uh, great surgeons. But we wanted to share this in a very tasteful way this morning, so I hope you appreciated it. Uh, thumbs up are appreciated. Uh, they do count for something here on YouTube. And uh, they lower my pain factor down. <laughs> right. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and click that little bell for the notification so that you will receive a notification every time there is a video coming up on this channel. And also you'll notice as we move forward, there will be additional links down below to social networking. And we're introducing a few new features there, too. Once again, thank you, everybody, for being so supportive of me, the ones that have been here since since uh, almost day one in January of 2013, to my wonderful crop of uh, new friends. You guys are the best. Love you. Thank you. And thank you for being such wonderful, beautiful friends. Have a happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Mm.